Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Arithmetic Progression. Hello friends, may I request you to please click on the subscribe button below this video. The given question is which term of the arithmetic progression 3, 10, 17 will be 84 more than its 13th term? Guys, this is one of the most important question and this question is from the chapter arithmetic progression and this question came in one of the CBSE board exam in the year 2004. So now let's move ahead and find out its solution. So as per the question, let us first of all put down the question, uh, whatever is being given in the question. Uh, there are, uh, they have given us three terms and first of all we are going to find out the 13th term and then after finding out 13th term we are going to add 84 to the 13th term and to find out the value uh, after adding 84, uh, 84 to the 13th term uh, whatever the value we got we will be considering that one is nth term and then we are going to find out that particular nth term let's see now whatever is being, being given is the question just i'm like trying to put it like first term second term uh, third term and 13th term up to here we know what is being given so uh, first term value is 3 second term uh, value is 10 third term value is 17 and 13th term 13th term value we do not know and let us name these as a1 to first term a2 to second term and a3 to third term and a13 to 13th term guys you could see that i just prepared tabular da form data so this will this is going to help us to uh, make our calculations without confusing among the numbers this is what i usually follow and I will also suggest that people please follow this pattern this is this one will help us to calculate the things without losing the uh, or without getting confusion with the numbers now guys we first of all we are going to find out the value for this 13th term once once we are going to find the value for this 13th term we are going to add 84 to that and that is going to be our a nth term and then we are going to find out the value for that a so guys, in order to move ahead, we very well know the common formula that we use to find for the, for the arithmetic progression, which is given by a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d. So guys, here first of all, let, let us find out the value of d. And I believe what is a n? a n is the nth term. a 1 is the first term. n is the nth term value. Uh, nth term and a n here is the a nth value of the uh, term okay now let us find out the value of d here d is equal to always uh, guys we d is nothing but it is the common difference and always we find the value of d from the end so here if we move from the end that means we, we need to find out like 13th term value we don't know let us find out uh, d here like a3 minus a2 that is equal to 17 minus 10 that is equal to 7 so guys we got the value of d is equal to 7 we got the value of d as 7 now let us put the value of d and uh, what are the data we know in the formula like here our focus is fi to find out the value of a n or the 13th term that means a 13 a 13 is equal to a 1 a 1 is nothing but 3 plus n minus 1 we know the value of here the n is 13 because we are working out to find out the value for 13 so 13th term so the value of n is 13 so i can write 3 plus 13 minus 1 into d the value of d is 7 or i can write or i can write a 13 is equal to 3 plus 12 into 7 guys i hope till here we are very clear now or i can write guys just we are uh, calculating to find out the value of the 13th term so a 13 is equal to 3 plus 84 or a 13 is equal to 87 so guys we are able to find out the value of 30, uh, a 13 this is the value of a13 this is the part of our solution this is not the complete solution now 
as per the question we need to find out the value of the term of that term if we add 84 to the 13th term now now let n let uh, let a n or let nth nth term we are going to uh, find out the value uh, of that term if we add 84 what is that we are uh, going to get now uh, let let me uh, let that value be a n because we do not know the value of 13th uh, that term so i can write a n is equal to 87 plus 84 so that is equal to 171 so guys you could see that this is being or uh, this is that uh, this is the solution or this is the uh, calculation that i derived an is equal to 171 because as per the question it is being asked that if we add 84 to the 13th term which is that term that we need to find out that means which is what is an or to which term this 171 belongs to we need to find out now guys we got an is equal to 171 now we do not here we do not know the value of uh, n now what i will do i will again take the help of our formula an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d keep in mind guys here we do not know the value of n we are going to find out that value of n where an is equal to 171 now instead of an i can write here 171 is equal to uh, a1 a1 value we know it is the first term and the value of the first term is 3 plus n minus 1 into 7 because we know the value of d so let us solve this equation the equation that we got now or i can write 171 is equal to 3 plus 7 n minus 7 or i can write this equation as 171 minus 3 plus 7 is equal to 7n so guys just moving this constant values from the right to the left so positive 3 became negative 3 in the left and positive uh, negative 7 became positive 7 in the left or i can write 7n is equal to 171 minus 3 plus 7 what is that value we are getting so if you solve like 171 plus 7 we are getting 178 178 minus 3 is 175 so i can write 7n is equal to 175 or n is equal to 175 upon 7 or n is equal to 25 so guys you could see that we got the value of n is 25 now we can easily say that a uh, a n or the 25th term the 25th term of the given ap will be 171 this is what is being asked in the question and this is what is going to be our answer so we can write therefore the 25th term the 25th term of the given ap will be 171 here the main focus is which term it is so we got the term as 25th term that's all guys so this is the answer hope you understood hope you understood this calculation or this process this is very simple and very straightforward but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye